Welcome or welcome back to another episode of Way Too Wifey. I'm your host, Respectfully Gabby, and in this podcast, we talk all about dating and relationships in this modern day. If you have not done so already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notification so you will never miss another episode, and leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify if you are listening from there. Very much appreciated. What goes around comes around, so if you are putting love out there, you will get love back to you. So obviously in two days, we have Thanksgiving coming up and I hope all of you have families that you're spending time with or friends, whatever, you know, sometimes we have to make our own families. But, you know, if you're living under a rock and have no idea, this week is Thanksgiving. But I did wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I very much appreciate every single one of you, the people that have been listening from the very beginning to the people that have just tuned in now. Thank you so much. For listening to way too wifey i promise you we're just getting started since this week is thanksgiving and we all know what comes around during the holidays with our families constantly questioning us when we're getting to that next level in our life and what i want to say about that is fuck you aunt janie <laughs> just kidding i don't have an aunt janie i have an aunt jane but irrelevant Whoever is asking you questions about like when you're getting to the next levels, for instance, oh, are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Oh, are you, um, when are you guys getting married? When are you guys getting engaged? When are you guys having kids? Like, can you shut the fuck up? Okay. We all know that that is, you know, something that we dread about the holidays. I know that I do, but I think my family has definitely laid off a bit, so I might be in the clear this year. But I will say, I'm just going to be honest with you guys. This week, I have had a meltdown. And I've never had one of these kinds of meltdowns before, so I wanted to share in hopes that maybe you are going through the same thing. I was sitting in a coffee shop, minding my own business, focused, doing my own thing, and I was very much into my work. And then I stopped. For a second it took a little break and then I sat there and I started bawling my eyes out in a coffee shop in midday everyone is sitting around me I started packing my stuff up I'm like fuck I have so much shit to do but I'm really going to respect the fact that I'm unwell right now <laughs> and we need to get going left the coffee shop and had a full-on meltdown in my car and this is the very first time that I have ever felt societal pressure in where I'm at in my journey I have never ever ever been like sad or felt like too lonely or like felt like I had to hurry up and like get married and have the kids and do the thing and whatever. This was the very first time that I sat down and I think it's because I am turning 29 in two weeks when this episode comes out, December 6th. Mark your calendars, you know. I'm turning 29 and to be honest with you, I think that everything was just catching up to me. Holy shit, I'm about to be 29. I do not have anyone in play to build a future with. I eventually want kids. Hopefully that will happen for me. But if it doesn't, it is what it is. But I do want them. At this point, I'm just like, holy shit, my 20s are almost over. Like, this was supposed to be the year that I'm supposed to, like, find someone. Life doesn't always go according to your plans. And as i was sitting there venting to my friend and crying my eyes out i'm like holy shit i didn't realize how quick 20s have gone by literally a blink of an eye i'm like getting emotional thinking about it but the third my 30s i just know that i'm going to be thriving so like i'm excited for my 30s but it's just crazy to think i am almost done with my 20s honestly like in that moment as i'm texting my friend like hey i'm having a meltdown just hear me out i just want to vent really quick i'm saying all these things and like logically i know that they're not true logically i know that i'm going to find someone logically i know that i really truly do believe that i will find someone who is an amazing person and if kids are meant to be in my life they will happen on their own accord. All of my friends are basically talking about either they're married now, getting engaged or engaged, just freshly into 
relationships or settling down, nestling into their future life. It hit me all at once. And then me being, you know, the only person in my family who is still single and I am the youngest, so it's like, it is what it is. God, if I was the oldest and I was the only single one, that would really suck. All of my sister, my brother, my sister, my, bro- my stepbrother, my stepsister, my dad, my mom are all like engaged, married, having kids and all of these things. I'm like, and I have to show up. And this is really for all of the single people right now. We have to show up to each and every single one of their life celebrations, and which is fine. Like I... We'll celebrate you all day. I am happy for you. I will never, ever, ever be a bitter bitch. And my time will come when it's supposed to come. But we have to celebrate every single one of our families, of our friends, of our loved ones, whatever. We have to celebrate them, first of all, getting engaged. And then we have to go to their wedding and celebrate that. Their baby showers, their wedding showers, their... You know, there's so many celebrations that we have to attend. And it's just like a constant reminder of like, holy shit, still single. And I'm showing up to all of these events single. And that's never really bothered me. I don't mind showing up single. I almost kind of prefer it. Really used to hate like bringing around my boyfriends, but I, I just never really thought that they were like a good fit for any of my like family or friends to be around. The thing that really hit me though was, damn, I have nothing really to celebrate for myself. You know, I think there should be a single celebration time of like, I'm fucking facing these streets every single day and day in and day out, you know? And then like when your parents ask you like, oh, like, are you dating anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Are you getting married soon? It's like, I'm trying. Okay. I am trying. I'm doing the best that I can out here in the streets. (laughs) I was having like this meltdown. No, logically this isn't true. Right. But I still in this moment feel lonely and I'm going to respect the fact that I am feeling lonely right now. I'm going to cry it all out and then we're going to move on and to come up with a solution. We're going to find some kind of game plan. Okay. We're going to be a sad girl for like an hour or two. I was really upset, but we're going to move on. I ended up going to the beach with a friend and it was so pleasant, so peaceful, so nice. And we watched the sunset. I felt so much better after the fact. I really just had to allow myself to feel what I was feeling and move on from it. Because I really don't feel that way in most cases. But in that moment, I was feeling very lonely. If you're experiencing feeling lonely in a lot of situations, I really highly, highly, highly recommend you finding a hobby. This is like the time to find a hobby. Going into the new year, you want to start this new year off as a brand new version of you and start it off with a hobby. Like go out, figure something out that you like and then double down on it because when you get those questions asked at the thanksgiving table from your family who are you dating who are you seeing right now you can always turn it back around and say oh you know what like i'm single but i'm I'm, this is what i'm doing right now i love doing this refocus the conversation off of dating because it's clearly not what your life is elevated in right now you will get there find something that you're interested in and then double down if the loneliness that you feel and like the the shame of being single is something that you feel constantly really recommend repurposing your thoughts into something productive because that's never going to serve you you are consuming way too much of your time focusing on what you don't have instead of building a life that you love and what you do have the more you think about what you don't have the more that that is going to show up in your life stop thinking so negatively it will happen It's on God's time, on the universe's time. Whatever you believe in, it will happen for you if you believe it will happen for you. And I think the last thing that I really wanted to say was stop comparing your journey to everyone else's journey. I have so many friends that right now, as I've mentioned before, have just gotten into relationships, have just gotten engaged, have really started their life with their significant others and are already married and whatever. Do not compare your journey to someone else's. And I always have to remind myself of this specifically, that the things that you wait for the most are going to be your biggest blessings. I am so okay with waiting because I am 
forming into the best version of myself and the most healthiest version of myself that someone's son is going to have the pleasure of having but i cannot say if i got into a relationship even a year ago i would have fumbled the bag no it would not have worked out because i was not fully confident in my own being I know that moving forward, the fact that I have to wait for this, the fact that I have waited long years <laughs> and it's not happening for, for me until my you know late 20s, early 30s, whenever the fuck it happens. The fact that I have that time period of waiting and growing as a person, I just know that it's going to be that much bigger and that much better for me. So focus on your own growth as a person. Don't focus so much on the being single because who the fuck cares? You have so much more going for you than having another person in your life. That other person has the privilege of being with a person that has their own hobbies, their own goals, their own whatever. Work on yourself and love will find you. But that is it for this week's episode. I hope this was helpful. And I know that so many of you felt this way because I get DMs about it a lot. And I know that a lot of you want to give up. And, you know, sometimes I do too. But if we give up, then we'll never get what we want. Keep on believing that it's possible for you. And it will. Come along. Please hit that subscribe button. And turn on your bell notifications. Leave a rating. Do your thing. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday.